Chapter 1. Any group can experience growth if every member is focused and determined to do the work. John Christensen produced a video about the fishmongers of the world-famous Pike Place Fish Market in Seattle, and that is the origin of the main story in this summary. Every day, the fishmongers intrigue their customers with a high level of attentiveness and tricks. Their excellent customer care has made the Pike Place Fish Market quite successful in America. Mary Jane Ramirez moved to Seattle with her husband Dan and children, Brad and Stacy. Her husband received a great offer at MicroRule, and she was made a supervisor in the operations area of First Guarantee Financial, one of Seattle's largest financial institutions. One year after their move, her husband had a burst aneurysm and he died of internal bleeding. The sadness of this incident burdened Mary Jane, but she decided to focus on her job. She developed a reputation for being efficient and productive. She treated her team members right and ensured that they met deadlines. Being the boss will require you to make tough decisions several times in your career. After about three years, Mary was transferred to a large operations group on the third floor, known for their notoriety. In her bid to find a solution to their lackadaisical attitude to work, she met a young man named Lonnie at the Pike Place Fish Market. Lonnie helped her identify four major practices that helped her department develop a culture where people wanted to give their best. Keep reading to discover these strategies, how to apply them, and the reasons why they're relevant to our world. Chapter 2. Change is possible when people get uncomfortable with their current situation. A call from her boss, Bill, informed Mary Jane that she needed to work on her team member's attitude to work or risk losing her job. He called her department the toxic energy dump, and Mary Jane immediately became burdened with finding a solution. During her lunch break one day, an impulsive stroll took Mary Jane to a lively public market. She had heard about the famous Pike Place Market, but it wasn't a place she visited with her tight financial situation and two young children. There is always a choice about the way you do your work, even if there is not a choice about the work itself. Lonnie. When Mary Jane got to the fish market, she could see several fish flying through the air and traders trying to make fast and funny tricks. Lonnie explained that the fish market didn't start as a happy place. It became a better place because traders and members of the community decided to change things. She learned about the fishmongering business and discovered that they also had as mundane and repetitive tasks as her department at work. People can achieve more when they agree to ignore their differences and work together for a common goal. You can always quit your job, and so in that sense, you have a choice about the work you do. It might not be a smart thing to do, given you have responsibilities and other factors. On the other hand, you always have a choice about the attitude you bring to the job. You can bring a moody attitude and have a depressing day, or you can bring a playful, cheerful attitude and have a great day. Either way, it is always up to you to choose your attitude. Chapter 3. Change requires courage because you might have to choose between two or more difficult options. Mary Jane finally realized that with her husband's sudden death and the pressure of being a responsible single mom, she had lost faith in her ability to survive in the world. She was afraid that if she took a risk and failed, she would be unable to support herself and her children. Also, leading a change at work would be risky because she could fail and lose her job, but she realized that if her department didn't change, they could all lose their jobs. I don't believe that companies are necessarily prisons, but sometimes we make prisons of them by the way we choose to work there. David White. The next Monday morning, she called a meeting with her staff. They usually met in two shifts. One group covered the phones, while the other met with her in the conference room, then they switched. As the first, first group assembled, she listened to the discussions of family activities and the universal complaints about Monday morning, and then went on to speak from her heart. A regular assessment of performance is necessary to affect change and measure growth. Mary Jane informed her team of the call she received from Bill, the comments other teams and customers made about their department, and appealed for a change. She proceeded to give them the first bit of advice Lonnie gave her. We choose our attitude. Mary Jane encouraged them always to choose cheerful attitudes instead of moody ones. She made them see how a bad attitude could affect their relationships with customers, co-workers, and even their families. At the end of the meeting, her team members offered words of encouragement. On Friday, she discovered that they had made a giant poster that boldly instructed everyone to choose their attitude. She considered this a major step that indicated possible future improvement. Chapter 4. The quality of your interaction with customers is dependent on your state of mind. Play is the second necessity for an energized work environment. Lonnie explained that although a business has to make profit, workers can be serious about work and still have fun in the process. Work can get boring if everyone keeps doing the same things daily. With some activities that lighten up the atmosphere, people can be relaxed enough to be more productive. Playful activities also make employees relaxed enough to forget their worries and choose a more positive attitude. 
The third ingredient in creating a high-energy, world-famous market involves making the customer's day. If a team looks for many ways to create great memories, there is a good chance that they will make customers happy. The playful way people do their work allows them to find creative ways to engage their customers. Focusing your attention on ways to make another person's day provides a constant flow of positive feelings. A happy customer will come back, give positive reviews, and even recommend your business. This step is necessary for expansion and growth. Customers feel more comfortable when you focus on their needs and make them feel seen. The final ingredient needed to create a more energetic workplace is for employees to be there for their customers and each other. The traders who sold fish were always fully in the present. They did not daydream or linger on the phone. Instead, they kept scanning the crowd and interacting with customers. At her next Monday morning staff meeting, Mary Jane announced that they would go on a lunchtime field trip to the Pike Place Fish Market to study the four practices in action. The visit convinced her team of the importance of a better method, and they decided that they needed a plan to make their department as successful as the fish market. market. They were convinced that these were the four practices necessary to create a more energized workspace. Choose your attitude. Play. Make their day. Be there. These are the four practices that make up the fish philosophy. They can change your life, but are more effective when combined and practiced consistently. Chapter 5. If you look closely enough, you will realize that employees usually leave telltale signs of how they want to be treated. In the next employee meeting, Mary Jane passed around a sign-up sheet and asked each team member to sign up for one of the four practices. Each team met for six weeks and came up with a presentation. The teams got reading materials from Mary Jane, a budget of $200, and held various meetings before the big day. Lonnie was present to watch their presentations and evaluate their progress. The play team designed a game using a path of circles cut from colored paper and arranged on the floor so you could step from one circle to the next as the music played. They suggested a few tips and requested an ongoing play committee to keep the ideas flowing. The Make Their Day team developed a list of strategies to enhance and support their internal customers' work. They highlighted the benefits of treating customers and coworkers fairly and, among other tasks, decided to appoint a special task force dedicated to surprising and delighting their customers. The Be There team played some soothing music in the background and had one member guide others through many visualizations that helped them be fully present. To support one another in this task, they established a code phrase, You seem distracted, was chosen as a cue to signal a possible Be There issue. Employees need time to adjust to new practices, so team leads have to be patient. For the Choose Your Attitude team, their presentation explained that they could create a better work area if people choose their attitude. They bought motivational books for all team members and promised to organize group discussions. After the presentations, each employee affirmed that they learned many new things, were ready to start working differently, and couldn't wait for a better work environment. Chapter 6. The Fish Practices Can Work For You In Any Number Of Life's Situations Consider Inge, who discovered that she had a large mass, almost certainly cancer, that had to be removed quickly. Inge decided to rename her cancer, The Glob, and asked everyone around her to call it that too. Inge did not know if she could beat cancer, but she knew she could take on a glob. On the morning of her surgery, Inge woke up energized. She played music before the surgery and chose how she approached what she could control. It might not have increased the surgical team's medical skills, but it did affect how they applied the skills they already possessed. She survived the surgery and taught the surgical team the importance of having the right attitude. Life offers no guarantees, but you always have the power to make a choice. WD-40, multi-use product, a lubricant, has nearly quadrupled sales over the past 20 years, with the market cap growing from $250 million to over $2 billion. The WD-40 company managed to sustain such success by creating a culture in which individuals, known as tribe members, want to give and be their best. CEO Gary Ridge has led the company for more than 20 years. He understands the importance of creating an environment where people enjoy coming to work and trust is paramount. The WD-40 company is guided by the four pillars of a fearless tribe, as Gary calls them. Care, you are contributing to something bigger than yourself and get to go home happy. Candor, there is no lying, faking, or hiding at WD-40. Accountability, a two-way street where leaders and the people they support are equally responsible for the outcome of their efforts. Responsibility. Tribe members respond with the answer, me, when the question of, who is responsible, is asked. Like other organizations that leverage the fish philosophy, the WD-40 company's culture makes space for fun. The company has a teepee in the lobby that tribe members can use for informal meetings and conversations. They take their work seriously, but take themselves less seriously. Also, they create positive memories in all their relationships, vendors, suppliers, and coworkers, by being lighthearted. 
the FISH philosophy will help you strengthen relationships between your team members and the community they serve. Did you know, over the most recent 20-year period, WD-40 multi-use product has delivered shareholders a compounded annual growth rate of 15%. Conclusion. FISH is not a set of rules or a checklist of steps to complete. It's a way of thinking, a lens that helps you see more clearly how to be the person you want to be. The practices of FISH help you to be more aware of who you are while doing what you're doing. It starts with you because no one else can live FISH for you. No matter what is happening around you, you alone are in charge of choosing how you want to live. Your choice attracts others. When you live FISH, you experience a positive change in your relationships and in yourself. A playful heart, a will to serve, a commitment to be present, and accepting personal responsibility for your choice of attitude have been shown to pave the way to personal or organizational transformation. Your words create your world, and the way you speak affects how you think and act. The FISH practices offer a positive language that shifts your conversations both internal and external toward what you can do to make life better for one another. The most effective leaders today lead through their example. If you are a leader, the FISH philosophy is a powerful way to practice servant leadership. If you want your team to live FISH, first, live it yourself. When you live FISH, you experience a positive change in your relationships and yourself. Like-minded people will notice and ask how they can also do the same. Feel free to apply FISH to any aspect of your life and watch as you boost your morale and achieve better results. Try this. Make a copy of the four FISH practices and paste them somewhere visible. Also, have a meeting with your teammates and suggest using these strategies to achieve better results.